What's up everyone? Welcome back to CS Coins. We're back today with another penny bag hunt. This is going to be another episode of our Hunt and Fill series here. And we're going to be going for 1909 to 1940, filling up some spots in this album, maybe some upgrades. we got a lot of work to do on the early wheat scents. And then we have our 41 to 74 album. We're a little bit more full in this one. As always, we're going to be looking for DDOs, any kind of varieties, errors, wheat pennies, hopefully Indians. We'll see what this bag can do for us. So without further ado, I'm going to cut it open and I'll show you guys the first find. I just cut open the bag and the pennies just kind of spilled out like this. And I think we are seeing multiple wheat pennies in sight here. I think I see at least three. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. We got a 57D. Let's take a peek at this guy here. 53D. I think that could be a lamination issue. I'll have to look at that closer, but possibly an error on this one. That's cool. And obverse facing, I spotted this guy here. We got a 56D. So all common 50s wheat pennies, so nothing too crazy, but Hey, three right off the rip. That is really good pace so far. So hopefully we can keep it going and find some more old ones. We're still working on that first pile I pulled up in the front of the bag. And I'm seeing three wheat pennies again somehow. I'm not even waiting to pick them up. I just happen to spot all three at the same time. So let's see what we got here. 58D, newest one we can possibly find. 1950 this one was obverse facing and this last one looks like it could be a little bit older it looks pretty worn so hopefully we got like 20s or 30s on this one and it's just a worn 49d that's kind of upsetting and whatever we still got six wheat pennies and we are pretty fresh into the bag here so hopefully we can find some older ones soon I think we're gonna have a pretty fun bag here. I'm seeing three wheat pennies yet again somehow. <laughs> Every time I spot a wheat penny, I spot two other ones in this bag, I guess. But we've got this one right here. This one's going to be a 48 Philly. Oh, actually we might have four. I just revealed another one. Let's take a look at this guy here. 1950 Philly. Got another one right here. This one hopefully is an old one. 1930, there we go. That's gonna be a fill for the album for sure. That's awesome. And one last one over here. Let's take a look and see what we got. 1944D. All right, I think we're already at, what is that, 11 wheat pennies? And we're barely into this bag. Just opened it. I. Do not have many discards yet, so hopefully this is some kind of collection dump or something, or, you know, I just get one of those lucky bags where there's a bunch of wheat pennies, but, man, we are off to a banging start. Hopefully it keeps up. All right, we've got another wheat scent here. Let's take a look and see what it is. 44D. A couple more wheat scents showing up further in the bag. Let's take a look at these real quick. This one is going to be a 52 Denver. Take a look at this guy. 46, Billy. Really? All right. It's a nice little pile of weeds so far, guys. We are not very far in. Let's keep finding them. Right after I found those two weeds, I spotted this one a little bit further in the bag, buried a little bit. And we've got a 46 Denver. I think we found quite a few of these already. This is shaping up to be one of my better penny bags so far in terms of wheat penny volume. We've got another one here up for spacing. This one's a 1947 Philly. And I haven't been counting too much, but that we gotta be approaching 15 at this point, I would think. We might even be at 15. That's a lot of wheat pennies. And as you can see, we have not gone too far in yet. So hopefully we got like 30 plus wheat pennies in this bag. I would like to get 50 plus. That would be awesome if we could get a full roll. Let's keep at it. Hopefully luck continues. You know you got a crazy bag when every time you spot a wheat penny, you see a couple other ones jump out at you. I spotted three here. I'm not sure if I'm still seeing three, but I see at least two. Um, so we've got this guy here. 
looks like it could be a little bit environmentally damaged, whether that was like underground or in a river. Looks like it uh, sat outside for some time. That's gonna be a 53 Denver. And this one, it looks like it's the same case, so I'm guessing these came from the same person, maybe. 46 Denver on that one. And I had a third one that I was looking at, but I'm kinda not seeing it anymore. Here it is. This one was obverse facing. And we've got a 51 Philly. It's pretty sweet, guys, let's go. I think we're close to 20 wheat pennies, and still a ton of work to do here. We've got another double wheat penny find here. We got a reverse facing here. This one is going to be a 44D. I feel like we're finding a lot of 40s wheats here. And another 40s wheat penny right here. This one's a 46 Philly. All right. I think we're definitely over 20 at this point. We got a lot of wheats, and uh, I think there's a lot more to be found. So let's keep at it. I am crossing my fingers we get a full roll here. Got another wheat sent here pretty soon after that last one, and it looks like we got a commemorative right next to it. So I'll pull that one out too. 2009D. Uh, let's take a look at this wheat. This one's all on its lonesome here. 1948. This is the bag that just keeps on giving, guys. I scooped up a handful right over where I picked up that last wheat penny. And I'm seeing one in my hand, and I'm seeing a lot more under where I scooped up. So we got a 45 Philly right here. Just gonna kind of look around and see what we can spot here. There's one. 44. I think up here I spotted a few. Yep, we got two right next to each other right here, plus a 44 right here. Obverse facing, 44D. Uh, let's take a look at these two. 57 Denver. Got one right here, and I spot another one right there. Uh, 57 Philly on this one. And we got a 51D on that last one. Look at that pile of weeds, guys. We have got to be, I would say, half a roll by this point. And uh, yeah, we're still barely into this bag at all. I mean, I've, I've taken out like two or three decent sized scoops. And there's got to be at least like 10 or 15 more scoops in there, so. And I'm spotting more wheat pennies as I'm talking here. We got one right here. 58, last year wheat penny. I see wheat ears up here. 55D. And uh, I think that could be it for now. I'll bring you guys back in when I inevitably find more wheat pennies. Got something that's not a wee penny for once. We've got a 2009 Philly commemorative here. Uh, but now I am going to show you a wee penny because I did spot one as I was picking up that commemorative. We got a 46 Philly obverse facing. I'm seeing two more wee pennies here. One of them outside of the bag and one of them is in the bag. It's the one outside of the bag. You can see it obverse facing on the side here, 57D. We'll add that to our ever growing pile of wee pennies here. And I see a reverse a little bit deeper in the bag here. Let's take a look at that. Dropped it. 51 Denver. All right. Just after finding those two wheat scents, we've got a solo wheat here. Reverse facing. 1944. I just took another scoop and it revealed a few wheats here. So let's take a look and see what we've got. We got obverse facing. 1958 Denver. Pretty beat up, but I'll take it. And we had two reverse facings up here. 1942. I don't think that's one we found yet. And a 54D. Look at that pile of wheats, guys. We might be approaching a full roll here. I would say we have at least like 30 wheat pennies. That's awesome. Let's keep at it. I know there's more to be found in here. Of course there's more to be found in here. I just ended that last clip and I looked down and there's another wheat penny right in front of my eyes, 1950D. Just sifting through some coins in my hand here and I found another wheat penny. We got a 54 Denver. I just did a count, we were at 38 wheat pennies and we've got quite a few more to add to this pile because I see a bunch in here. 
Um, so I'm thinking there's a really good chance we hit a full roll here. Uh, first, let's take a look at this one, pre growth spacing. This one's going to be a 1940S. It's too bad that wasn't in the 30s because you don't see estimate marks too often. Still might get a fill on that one though. Uh, 56D right here. This one looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's take a look at this. Oh wow, yeah, that's a pretty nice looking 1944. It's too bad it wasn't a little more red, but I kind of like the color on it. Sorry about that, we had a little bit of background noise. We had to end that clip early, but there are still wheat pennies to be found that I was about to film. 52 Denver, this is another one in pretty good shape. It looks like that one is almost red. More like red brown. So that's pretty cool. And judging by the wheat ears on this one, we might have somewhat of, of an older one. Let's see. That's just a 1946. All right, I think that gets us to like 42 wheat pennies. So we're getting very close to a full roll here. So I'm excited to do it. Hopefully we can get on some old ones because we have found a lot of 40s and 50s this hunt. Just wanted to show something real quick. So I haven't found a lot of nice like red scents in this bag so far, but check out that one. We've got a beautiful 1960D here. Um, pretty good chance this one upgrades the one I have in that book right now. So. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm trying not to touch it too much, but we will uh, put that with the keepers. Uh, but also, right after I found that, I noticed this guy here. We've got a 55 Philadelphia. Unfortunately, no doubling on this one. Would have been a nice DDO. We have yet another wheat scent here. This one is a 1942. I believe we've already found one of these this time. This is already my second best wheat penny bag ever. Hopefully we get to number one. I think my best bag, I found 101 wheat pennies. Uh, but they are showing up in high numbers in this bag. And if this keeps up, I might be able to beat that record. Got one here that looks somewhat old, 46. Uh, let's see. This one here is a 56D. Uh, there's another one there, 1944 Philly. And, oh yeah, we got one right here as well. Let's see if this one's any old. 46 Denver. And, oh, look at that. 1918, I think that's the first Kings Wee Penny we found in this series so far. These have been uh, tough to come by. That's awesome, guys. It's not in terrible shape either. We will take that, let's go. And that probably gets us really close to 50 right there. I'll have to do another count. Uh, but there actually are more that I can see back in there. So let's grab this one. 53 Philly. And I'm not seeing any right off the bat deeper inside. I'm sure we got more. Uh, but I'll be sifting around and I'll show you guys any more that I come across. Got another wheat scent here out for spacing. This one is a 46 Philadelphia. I wish every bag could be like this, but that is not the case. <laughs> so we do have some more wheat pennies here, 56 Denver. And I spotted another one on this side here. This one's a 57D. Oh, and I almost lost it there. Looks like we got a whole penny right there too. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that puts us over 50, so I'm gonna do a quick count. And when I spot the next wheat penny, I'll let you guys know how many we have. Just wanted to give a quick update as well as another wheat penny find. So we are at 54 right here. So over a full roll, that's amazing. Um, I am really hoping we can get closer to 100 by the end of the right here. Uh, but we are gonna have number 55 right here with the 1945. So let's go guys, that's tight. We are finding a ton of wheat pennies here. I think we're gonna have some really good fills in the book. Uh, but let's keep at it, we still have uh, quite a few wheat pennies to go through um at this point i'd say we're you know maybe a third of the way through the bag or halfway but if the pace keeps up we may have two full rolls of wheat pennies by the end of this i think i'm seeing five or six wheat pennies deeper in the bag um we have to see if i can spot them all again well, we've got one right here inverse facing this one is a 1940 zoom in a little bit for you we got our obverse facing 42. This is another one right here. This one is a 45. I think we've 
Got one back here that's outward facing. I guess I missed it. 49D. And I think I see at least like two or three more back there. I think we got three. Let's see about this one. Reverse facing. 47D. And let's see. I think this is one. Yep. Reverse facing. 1950. Sorry about that, I had to end that clip early. A little bit more background noise I was trying to avoid. Uh, but I see two more wheat tunnies back in here. Pretty decent looking, 1944. And let's see about this one. Fingers facing, 50, 60. I think that's gonna put us over 60 wheat tunnies. Look at that pile. Um, so let's keep grinding these out. Really, really hoping here that we get over 100. I would love to tie my best bag or beat it in wheat honey count here. Got a pretty cool find that's not wheat honey for once here. We've got a powder stamp scent. This one's a 1983 penny with a, looks like a Connecticut State outline on it. So that's pretty cool. I haven't found a counter stamp in a while. I'll take it. Give you guys a quick break on the wheat penny action, but we are right back to it here. 1949 Opera's facing here, Philadelphia. Couple finds I wanted to show here. We've got a King George on the board, so we've got some old Canadian to find here. Um, this is gonna be anywhere from like the late 30s to the early 50s. Let's take a look. And 45, that's pretty typical of these. So that is awesome, we will take an old Canadian. And I also found another 2009 commemorative. And this one is the one with the potential for a DDR. I believe Lincoln would have like an extra thumb here. Never found one, but let's take a look and see if we got one here. And no doubling. You just want to look for doubling right here, like an extra thumb coming up here. And I think there could be one with like an extra finger as well. But nothing going on on this one, but we will still keep it. It is a decent find. These don't show up too much. A lot of people took these out of circulation. All right, we have got quite a bit of wheat pennies. It seems like every time we get another find, uh, wheat pennies come back in full swing. So this one's reverse facing. We got a 55 Denver. Uh, we've got another reverse facing here. 50 60. And we got 50 70 reverse facing right here. I thought I saw one more. Yep, up here we got a opera facing again. 53 Philly. I just got another wheat penny here while sifting through some coins. I thought we could have had a strike through here at first, but I think that's just damage. Uh, but check out this pile, guys. We've got a lot of wheats on the board. Um, I'm probably going to do another count pretty soon because I don't know what we're at. I, I think we're probably in the mid 60s for the count here. Um, but yeah, I kind of like to know. It's just, uh, it's easy to lose track when you're finding this many. So get after it, keep going. I'll show you guys the next find. All right, we've got a few more finds here. You guessed it, there's more wheat pennies. But also we've got some commemoratives here. We've got a 2009, cannot tell if there's a mid mark. I don't think there is, but there's some gunk on that one. Um, and there's another 2009 here, a different reverse design. This one's a Denver Mint. And let's take a look at these wheat pennies. They are both reverse facing. Got a 58 Philly. And let's take a look at this guy. 57 Denver. That's a lot of wheats. I think I'm going to do a count. And on the next wheat penny find, I'll let you guys know how many we have now. So we are now at 71 wheat pennies. But we're going to be making that 72 right here. We have another one reverse facing. 56 Denver. Wow, this is a great bag, guys. We might, uh, we still might beat that best bag I had, 101. We only need, what, like 30 at this point? Which, it could happen, it could. They are slowing down, but uh, either way, this is definitely the second best bag I've ever had, we penny wise. So let's keep grinding them out. We are going to be up to 75 wheat pennies after this one here. We've got a few in sight, so I'm going to pick these up. 44 Philly, that's number 73. Number 74 is going to be the 57D right here. 
And 75, we've got one reverse facing. 1940. Alrighty, let's get to 100. Pretty cool find here that I just wanted to share with you all. So we've got a pretty major grease strike through on this 1991 cent. Uh, the one is actually almost gone. I can just barely see it there. Uh, the L and the I and Liberty's gone. In God is almost gone. You can barely see the O and the D. You can't even see in at all. Uh, so that's pretty cool. When this one was uh, going through the striking process, there was grease in the way of the dies when they went to uh, stamp this coin. So the grease got in the way of the uh, details on the obverse a little bit. You can see it's a weaker strike on the bus. So this is what we get. These usually aren't worth a lot, but since this one's missing a lot of detail, I might be able to get a few bucks if I wanted to sell it. Got two more wheat pennies to check out here. This one here, three reverse spacing, 56 Philly. And we've got one back here. This one is a 55. That looks a little weird. Uh, it almost looked like doubling at first. Man, I thought I had the DDO. I don't know what's going on with this one. Might be some kind of weird like die deterioration. It almost looks like we have like a second five after the... I don't know. I gotta get this under the microscope. This is pretty interesting. That is really weird looking. Yeah, I almost see like a split serif down there. Partial DDO maybe? We'll see. I'm gonna put it under the microscope. Yeah, I don't think there's any kind of real doubling going on here. I must have just been seeing what I wanted to see, but it still looks kind of weird. I can't really explain what is going on here. I think it would be some kind of dye deterioration. Uh, but yeah, the lettering up here looks kind of weird. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. I'll take it though. I thought I could have had a DD when I first saw it. It looked, it looked kind of weird with the lettering, but... Keep at it. Keep looking for that 55 King of DDOs. Uh, I don't know if they consider the 55 or the 69 as the King of DDOs. I think the 55 has that little nickname, but maybe one day. But for now, we do have another wheat penny. We've got a few more wheat pennies to investigate here. So let's take a look. We've got another 1955 here. Absolutely no sign of doubling on that one, Philadelphia. I got a wheat here as well. This one's pretty crusty looking. Looks to be a 52D maybe or 57D. Either way, not too special of a wheat penny. Um, and then we have two obverse facing over here. We've got a 51 Denver and a 52 Denver. I think I'm gonna stop counting these kind of and just be surprised at the end of the hunt with how many i found hopefully we can break my record here but uh even if i don't that's a crazy hunt right there i'm very happy with how we've been doing got some more wheat pennies to be found here let's take a look at this guy 1942 philly and we got one a little bit deeper in the bag here this one is a 56 denver we got two more wheat pennies here for the bag. Let's take a look at them. Got a 52 Philly and a reverse facing right here. Let's take a look. 44. Man, I'd like to get some more old ones. I think we only have two that broke into the 30s and before. I think we got a 30 and a 1918. Um, do not mind at all finding these 40s and 50 cents, but I would really like to find some more old ones. Love finding those old wheat pennies. I believe we have three more in the bag here a little bit. Let's take a look at them. This one is obverse facing. I can see that. Oh, that's not the right one. I think it's this one here. 42 Philly. And I see right here the little wheat ears sticking out on this one. Gonna be a 46 Denver. And there was one other one I saw. Let's see if we can find it. Yep, there it is. 56 Denver. Look at that pile. Got two more wheats in the bag a little bit. Looks like they're both obverse facing. We got a 51D. 
and I believe this one was like a 44. Oh, there's one underneath it too. 1944 Philly. I can't tell if that's one beyond it too, it could be. Nope. Uh, this one is going to be a 44. This is just insane, guys. I think I'm into a pretty crazy layer in the bag here. I think it's starting to pick up a lot. Uh, we've got a wheat plenty right here. 41. I believe 41 is supposed to have a DDO. I don't see it on this one. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got a 57 Denver. And I think I saw a couple more up this way. Let's see if I can spot them. 56 D. Now we got close on that one. There we go. There's another one, 53D. Alright. I think we could have an old wheat here. Hopefully this one is not deceiving. But it looks pretty worn down. So if this is older than the uh, 40s, there's a decent case we can use it as a fill. Let's see. Let's see it. Two, I believe. 29, I think. I can't tell if there's a mint mark though. First, it kind of looked like an S. I'll have to, um, I don't recommend rubbing coins, but I'm, I'm just trying to see what this is here. Uh, we might have to put that under the microscope later and see if that's a mint mark, but uh, definitely a 19.29 cent. It's awesome. We are back on some old ones here. Got three more weights in sight here. Let's take a look at them. One is a 45 Philly, and we've got two reverse facing up here. 57 Philly, and let's take a look at this last one here. 41. Don't see doubling on that one either. This is crazy, guys. Everywhere I look, I'm seeing more wheat pennies. So we've got at least three more to the left, right after I pick those other ones up. Uh, 53 Denver. 1940, and this one is going to be a 53D. I think there's a really good chance we beat the record of 101 in this bag, guys. That's a huge pile of wheat honeys. I'm sure by this point we're probably at like 85 at least, so uh, I would say 15, 20 more we should be able to beat our record. Let's keep at it. There's only one way to uh, find out if we can top 101. And that's going through the rest of this bag. So we are getting kind of close to the end here, so I dumped out the bag. It's a little bit easier to see wheat pennies now. Um, and I did spot one back here. This one would have been near the bottom of the bag. So let's pick that one up and see what we got. Uh, 58 Denver on that one. Spotted three more wheats looking around the uh, pile here. So we've got a 1946 Denver. And I saw two more up here. Let's see if I can spot them again. Got another 55, no doubling there. And we got a reverse facing right here. I thought this was old when I first saw it, but uh, looks like it's just got some heavy crust on it. Yeah, it's just gonna be a 53 Denver, it looks like. Got a good amount of wheat pennies in sight here, so let's see what we got. Reverse facing here, 58 Denver. Got a 56 D right here. Another reverse facing right here. 57D. 42 right here. And this one looks like a metal detecting find, but we have a obverse facing 41. Definitely looked like this one was underground for a little bit. It's awesome though. We gotta be getting pretty close to 100 here, so let's keep going. Got two more wheats that I'm seeing here. We got one here and one here. So let's flip these around and see what we got. 53 Denver. And let's check this one out. 52 Denver. We got three more wheat finds in view right here. So let's pick them up, see what we got. In the 1941 Philly. Not seeing any doubling on that. Uh, 53 Philly right here. And let's see. Okay, there's the last one. Reverse facing. 
and this one is a 5060. Look at how filthy my hands are, guys. These bags, like especially the penny bags with all the gunk all over them. Get your hands disgusting looking. But it's worth it for all these weeds. Look at that. That is one impressive pile. Got another wheat sitting right here. This one is another 1955. This one also has kind of weird lettering. It looks pretty similar to that last one. Well, not the last one we found, but the one that was uh, kind of strange looking. The bag's definitely slowing down as I am uh, searching through the rest of these pennies here, but we are still seeing wheat pennies pretty somewhat consistently. We got a 1956 Philly here. And I'm always losing track of the other ones I spot. We got one here. This one is going to be a 58 Denver. All right, this bag is definitely slowing down, but I am seeing a good handful of wheat pennies here near the bottom. So let's take a look and see what we can add to our wheat penny for here. Got a 51 Denver. Pull the light up a little bit so you guys can see it better. Uh, let's take a look at this one here. 1957 Philly. This one looks like it could be somewhat old. Let's take a look at that. There we go. Another 30s, 1937 Philly. I think there's a good chance that fills a spot in the 1909 and 1940 album. So that's pretty awesome. Love seeing anything pre-1940. And I think I saw one more obverse facing. I don't know if I lost it here. I think I did might have to bring you guys back on that one but there was a 40s penny up here somewhere i can't find it anymore though uh but i will be back hopefully with at least that wheat penny and some more uh but we will see even if not we got a huge pile of wheat pennies here that's over two rolls guys what a bag so i did end up spotting that wheat penny that i lost track of earlier it's gonna be this guy here 1948 philadelphia pretty dark color on that one but we will take it another wheat for that massive pile and it also had a friend if i can spot that one again right there reverse facing let's see what we got 1950 right on the money all right hopefully there's more wheats in here we don't have too much left to search but either way this is a record breaking bag that is a big pile just wanted to give everyone a quick wrap up before we head into our fills here and I probably will get another shot of the wheat pennies just all in a pile here, but I just wanted to stack them all up so I could count them. We ended the hunt with 124 wheat pennies. That is by far a record for me. We beat our previous best bag by 22 wheats, so that's awesome. Uh, most of these are 40s and 50s, nothing too crazy really, uh, but we did get some older ones here. We got a 29, a 30, a 37, and the 1918, which I think is our first teens wheat penny of this whole series. And it's not in terrible shape. It's a little bit worn, but it's got a nice, I would maybe call that red-brown color. So pretty cool. Oh, we got a counter-stamped 83 here. We've got a nice grease strike. You can pretty much only see the 199 on that penny. You can kind of tell the last digit's a one though. Uh, and God We Trust is pretty far gone on there. And then we have a 45 King George cent. So we even got an old Canadian here. And... Other than that, we just got a pile of 2009 commemoratives. I always pull the nicer ones out of my bag, so we'll be keeping none of those. Let me get you guys one more shot of these wheats, and then we will see what we can fill in the albums here. I think we're going to have a lot of them. Looks like a lot more wheat pennies when we got them all in a pile. That is pretty impressive, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I had a fun hunt, for sure. Always love having bags like this. Now let's hope we get a lot of fills for our albums. Let's get into it. So unfortunately, despite how many holes we have to fill, somehow we still managed to get two duplicates in this hunt. We got a 37 and a 29, which we could not fit in here. The 29 is actually a little even crustier than this one, believe it or not. And the 37, the one I have in the book is a little bit nicer too. Uh, what we were able to add, though, is the 1918. It was nice to see a teen's wheat scent get in there all by its lonesome. And then we're going to have the 1930. And lastly, we've just got this 40S. 40D is still eluding us somehow, and we've got a lot of work to do in 30s and 
before. So that's that for the uh, older ones. I think we'll have a lot more fills in the other book. So let's take a look and see what we can do here. Just to let you guys know, because we have so many wheat pennies, I don't want to be doing every single upgrade unless they're really nice. So uh, the pennies that I found that are in really good condition like this one, really sharp detail, I'll be upgrading those kinds. So this 44 I just put in, took out the old one. Uh, but everything else is just going to be fills for now. I'll work through the upgrades later. Trust me, I'll pick the better wheat pennies, but there's nothing too crazy from this hunt, so I don't think it's anything important to uh, make this video any longer. Unfortunately, this has been a pretty disappointing fill. We only were able to get two for this page here. I don't know why all these estimate marks are very tough to find. Somehow I didn't even get a 45D, uh, but what we did get was the 46D, and we also got the 47 and that one's in pretty decent shape too. Um, so just a lot of work to do on the estimates here. Uh, 42 Denver looks like we're gonna need that one as well. Um, so mainly just, you know, the lower mintage S ones. Uh, and then we will have that page complete, hopefully pretty soon. Let's do the next page, see what we can fill there. Just wanted to show something kind of cool I noticed when I was going through the wheat pennies. So we got a 57 under the scope and Liberty looked a little weird to me. So we took a peek under the scope and looks like we've got that uh, die chip in between the B and the E, which looks like a I. So it reads like lib by or T kind of. Um, I don't remember what they call that. There's like a name for this die chip, the I die chip or something. I'm not sure. Um, that's pretty cool. At first the date was looking a little big to me. So I was checking to see if it could potentially be a DDO. And then I just noticed that die chip there. Definitely doesn't look to be damaged. I think that it's just a hefty die chip, so it's pretty sweet. I'll probably uh, flip this one up and just keep it separate. Another bummer here. Unfortunately, I would say a good 95% of the coins we found were either Denver or Philadelphia. I'd say more of them were Denver. Uh, we barely had any San Francisco mints, so that really killed us in this hunt. Uh, we only got one find on this page, a 1956. It is another one in good shape, so that's cool. Um, but a lot of work to do with these S mints and the 54 still haven't gotten that one It does seem to be a lower mintage compared to all the rest of them um, But yeah, a little bit unfortunate there uh, We still have a lot of work to do in this series. I thought we'd get way more fills with all these wheat pennies, but uh, I guess not So I did pull aside two copper cents. So I think three they were pretty nice So I'll go ahead and see if those can fill out here. If not, I will be back to end the video. I picked out some pretty nice copper cents out of this bag, so we did get a couple upgrades. We got a 73S and a 74D that are new. These are the old ones, They're still in good shape, but not quite as nice as the ones I just found. So that's cool, we'll take it. But yep, this album and the other, we have a lot of work to do. So I will be back. I don't know when, I think I'm gonna be doing some silver hunts in the near future. You know, grinding for W's, grinding for silver dimes, quarters, half dollars. Uh, but I will be back after a little bit of break from the pennies. Uh, don't want to show how messy my room is here, but I've got a lot of bags of coins i got to turn in. Uh, so that's going to take me a while. And they're mostly pennies, so I want to get rid of all these pennies before I go out and get more. Um, but this is definitely a good hunt to be taking a break from the series on for a little bit. So I'm sure I'll be back in a couple weeks, but in the meantime... I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in the next one.